Now the children have some negatives produced using their cameras. When the paper negatives are completely dry, pick the best ones to make the final positive prints. Take the square pieces of perspex from their wrapping and if there's any protective film, then peel it off. In the darkroom, set up a desk lamp and a timer ready to transfer the image from the negative to the positive. Put a sheet of perspex under the lamp on a flat surface. Make sure the lamp's turned off at this stage. Switch on the safe lights and turn off the white light. Remove a sheet of the photo paper from the pack and close up the box again. Put the sheet face up under the lamp. Place your negative face down on top of it. And put the sheet of perspex on top of that. Take a piece of card or black paper and cover all but one to two centimetres of the perspex. Turn on the lamp and after two seconds move the card to reveal another one to two centimetres of the perspex. Repeat this in steps every two seconds until all the perspex and the paper is revealed. Process in exactly the same way as before and then examine under normal light. Hopefully one of the steps should look like a proper mix of lights and darks to make a good black and white print. Note the time that this step has been exposed to the lamp. If all the steps are too dark, raise the lamp higher up and away from the paper, then try again. If all the steps are too light, then increase the step times or use a brighter lamp. When you've established the correct exposing time, then put a fresh sheet of the photo paper under the negative with the perspex on top. Switch on the lamp for the correct time and then turn off, but don't cover with card this time. Remove the sheet of paper from the bottom and process in the same way as before. If the print looks a little too dark, then reduce the time for the next exposure. If it's too light, then increase the time. Allow these prints to dry and then they can be handled and displayed in the classroom. This video is one of a series of how-to videos showing how to use the Pinhole Educational Kit. For more details, visit the website.